Very classic looking boat, very nice. You can circumnavigate the cockpit very easily. This forward cabin also turns into a lounge. So that bulkhead just flips up and then you've got a door that can close off the entire space. What's up guys, back in the mobile studio and I have got a tour of a 1986 Gossard 36 for you today. So if y'all follow my tours, you'll see that I've toured a Gossard 36 before in 1987 in Florida and I wanted to tour this boat because I've always heard that northern boats are in better shape, perhaps better price, better values than Florida boats. So just trying to see if that might be true. Plus, the Gosford 36 is a great boat, so why not tour it again? So let's go ahead and see what kind of shape this one is in and see if it's a potentially better deal than the one I toured in Florida. But first, real quick, if you're enjoying these videos and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It certainly helps us a lot and it helps build the channel. So thank you in advance and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Alrighty guys, I just stepped aboard and I can already tell that this Gossard is going to be in better shape than the last one I toured, so that's the reason for filming this video. I wanted to show you guys one that was in better shape, so and here we go. Going forward, we got nice wide side decks, nice high bulwarks, large oversized bronze cleats there, very nice, chain plates high lifelines and handholds going all the way forward on the coach roof. We've got some butterfly hatches, some bronze antique butterfly hatches, very, very nice looking, classic going forward. Nice big bowsprit on the bow out here. Probably about a five, six foot bowsprit. Dual bow roller on the front. Very nice. Looking aft from the bowsprit. Very classic looking boat, very nice. Got a horizontal windlass with what looks like pretty new chain there on deck. Take a look at the chain locker down here. bow locker slash chain locker on the foredeck out here looking aft again very pretty boat I love that little kind of semi hard dodger right there obviously there's canvas as well that will complete that enclosure for this boat it does seem that the main ventilation is going to be these butterfly hatches as well as the opening ports down here it looks like aluminum opening ports and then we do have a solar vent right here and right there mast is down for storage because we're on the hard lines will lead aft into the cockpit now we've got this teak stern rail that's characteristic of these gossards the teak's in okay shape this could use some work right there but if you know boats you know teak and you know that it's you know a constant labor of love we got a boom gallows right here. And then we've got this massive, massive cockpit on this boat. This is a 36 foot boat and it's got, you know, a cockpit that's meant for a 50 footer. It's just, it's huge. So this boat is all cockpit, tons of storage in this cockpit. Look at this. You can circumnavigate the cockpit very easily. Go all the way around. The helm station quite easily which is really nice and then we've got a step through transom that transom opens up and you can go off the back 
which is a really good feature. Got dinghy davits off the back. There's your emergency tiller post, wheel, post of instruments, wind instruments, chart plotter, autopilot. Start looking in these lockers. Got a nice little shallow locker there. Another shallow locker there. It's because there's gonna be a cabin below right there. And then on this side, these should be a lot deeper. Yep. Big, deep cockpit locker there. And another big, deep cockpit locker there. So one thing that's cool about this little center console area is you have winches here to control your sails, but it also turns into a big table. And I'll show you guys that right now. We've got two sides and they're gonna fold up into a table. So there you have it, guys. Nice big table. And I believe there's also another piece that slides in right there, but I just can't find it at the moment. But I'm sure it is here. So there you have it. That's really cool. So we've got nice, good visibility with the mast up and the enclosure over our heads. We would have good protection as well. And this would be a nice boat to go sailing on. Nice, comfortable boat. So let's go ahead and go down below. All right, guys. So I just stepped down into the main salon or saloon. Do a little 360 here. Everything's in relatively good shape. Definitely in better shape than the last gossard that I toured. So that's really nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and move a little bit forward. Talk about these convertible spaces. So as you guys can see, we've got a forward cabin here but this forward cabin also turns into a lounge, essentially, a seating area. So as you can see, we've got a big double berth here, probably about a queen size bed. Also, it closes off for privacy. So we've got a hanging locker here. But it doesn't quite close that way. You gotta undo this latch back here. Then once that latch is undone, you can move the door and then close it off here. So now we are fully closed off. We've got this forward section of the boat in forward cabin mode, I would say. Queen berth right there. Very nice. And then now, we want to put it into lounge mode or you know to extend the main salon out just push these seats to the side there you have that you got two settees to sit on lots of room down here storage up forward and then looking aft Got a little kind of vanity there. It does look like there used to be a sink there. Not anymore. And then another little area to store clothes. So let's go ahead and open this door back up. All right, so there you have it, guys. That door is open. Also, something that happens is this panel can also fold down, okay, to really open up the space. And then we've got our main salon here. Forward cabin in kind of lounge mode. Again, there's more convertible stuff here. There's a little box down there that can move around anywhere you need it to create some extra seating. This table also folds down and it can be in this mode right here where it's pretty small and out of the way, but you still get to use it as a table or it can be in this mode right here. And there's another leg that holds it out so that you can have a nice big table in case you have company over to eat, or you can kind of keep it in this configuration. This is probably how I would keep it most of the time, or you can fold it completely out of the way. The seat backs also flip out and you've got more storage behind them there. Turning around, we've got our galley right here. 
in the main salon area. You do have the compression post back here if you're cooking and you want to brace back there. You've got some handles to hold on to, but not the ideal galley setup, I'd have to say, but still usable, functional. Got lots of storage, sink, cold storage, gimbal stove. Tank hitch down there in the keel. Headliner's in good shape. And then going aft, we've got the main head. It is just aft of the galley here. All in pretty good shape. It is a wet head. Storage behind the head there. got our companionway stairs here. Lots of little cubbies for storage and then engine access down here. And there's also access panels that open on the sides as well. And then lastly we've got a nav station here that also converts into a quarter berth or an aft cabin. So that table is gonna fold down like that. And then this cushion pops out. So that bulkhead just flips up into place. Lock it here. And then you've got a door that can close off the entire space. And then now you have a enclosed cabin back here with a berth that can fit one, definitely one, maybe two people if you're comfortable with each other back here. So pretty cool. All right guys, now it's time for the full continuous blow deck walkthrough from Valve to Stern. So that was definitely interesting. You know, I've toured this boat before, basically this exact boat, just one year newer. And that was a boat that I toured back in Florida. And then I came up here roughly a year or so later toward this boat. And it's pretty evident that this one up here in Nova Scotia is in much better shape than the one that was down in Florida. The one in Florida has since lowered its asking price. So I believe they're both about the same asking price now, but you can obviously see that, you know, this one's in a lot better shape, so it's gonna be the better value. But yeah, I mean, for a boat from the 80s, this is definitely a unique one. Everything kind of 
converts into something else. Every space is multifunctional, basically, on these boats. And you've just got so much space for a 36-foot boat. It doesn't feel like a 36-foot boat. It feels like a 46-foot boat down below. And even in the cockpit, it feels like a bigger boat because that cockpit is so big. So the design is definitely, even by today's standards, unique. So these are just really, really cool boats. I like Gossards a lot. One of these days, I'm gonna to tour a newer Gossard. You know, both Gossards I toured were from the 80s. I'd love to see what a newer one has to offer. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't seen the original Gossard 36 that I toured, I can link that video in the description down below so you can kind of compare the two. And I thought this comparison was pretty fun. So I definitely enjoyed touring a boat that I've already toured before and being able to compare the condition and the value between the two. So as with all of our videos, the broker contact information for this boat is gonna be in the description below as well as the current asking price in case you're interested potentially purchasing this vessel or just want some more information. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. Bye. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little